Hello, hello. Today we are talking about missile unit spacing. In a previous video, we discussed a technique called checkerboarding and how we want to arrange our front line for optimal gameplay in multiplayer. But we never really addressed how we want to set up our missile units behind that line. So today we're here to fix that. When I'm thinking about setting up my missile line, I'm really thinking about three things I want out of it. I want it to be able to support my front line, the range fire, as well as my flanks. I want them to be able to support each other so that they can shoot, you know, if any threat jumps on my crossbows, my crossbows can shoot the threat while this one runs away. And I want them to have clear routes of retreat. And what I want, mean by that is that I want them to be able to run away from a threat without bumping into each other and making themselves a juicy target. So if we're talking about actual formations, start the basic one. We just deploy them like this. Well, this isn't really supporting our flanks as they don't really have the range to reach the sides. They can't really shoot each other. I mean, they could, but they're so close, they'll be stuck in melee. And that also means that their roots retreat are all the same. They're all in the same place. So if a threat comes, you know, flying over to land on them, well, they all kind of have to run the same direction. They all got to run away. Straight away, or to the sides. It's okay, but it's not great. We really want to space them out more. We want to support our flanks. We want to, you know, do better. So we space them out a little bit more. Okay, now we have the range to actually cover our flanks, support our front line all across the board. But we still don't have that cover. And you know, we can't really turn and shoot each other. The ones on the far side can't really help each other if they get threatened. We're also in a straight line, which makes us vulnerable to things like burning head or penumbral pendulum. And that's not something we really want. So the formation I usually go for is something a little bit like this. It's actually just like checkerboarding, but the reasons are entirely different. Because now if we're in this triangular formation, well now all of these crossbows can turn and cover fire each other if something jumps on them. They can all just shoot each other. They can cover a large portion of our front line as well as support our flanks. And if a cavalry unit comes in from the side to jump on one of them, you know, it comes in over here, it's on these guys. Well, now my crossbows can actually run away in different directions. This one can run towards the front line. This one can run the back line. And now they have separate directions to run. And this one can even run straight away this direction. So now we have multiple different directions we can run in. We have good coverage across our front line and we have the ability to support each other. So this triangular formation is often what I go for with my missile units. And it does have to stop at just three. You know, you can plug in more missile units and just keep the line going. If you have more infantry, if you have more missiles, you can just keep the line going even further and just keep that triangular formation so you have enough units to cover each other and they're spaced out enough that they can run away as well as providing coverage to your front line. Thanks so much for watching. That's got for you today. See you next time.